Hey guys, in this tutorial, I'm gonna show you how to create these cool gradient blob effects in Adobe Illustrator. So what I'm gonna show you is you want to create a circle, a square, whatever shape. So I'm just gonna press the L for the ellipse tool. I'm gonna hold Alt and Shift and drag that out. Now what I wanna do is I wanna have my gradient tool here. And what I can do is select a few colors. So I'm gonna um, drop the pink here. I'm just gonna get rid of these colors here. And I'm gonna go with the blue as well. So now we've got a, we've got this nice um, gradient here. I can change the angle if I want to, or leave it as is. Now what we want to do is we wanna select it, we wanna to go to effect, go down to blur. It's a Photoshop effect. And we just wanna go down to Gaussian blur. So I'm gonna click that. And you can see, you wanna make the radius pretty high. So if it's low, you're not gonna get that nice blob blur effect. So we wanna drag it all the way up. And obviously you can put more pixels if you want. So if I wanna go 400, um, that, we'll see if that actually changes. If I press okay. You can see it won't make much of a difference, but I'm just gonna leave it like that because um, it's maxed out already. And if I click away, you can see you get this nice blob effect. I'm gonna scale this down. So maybe you like you want it in the corners or something like that. You know, you want to get like a nice effect. We just want it in the background. I can make another one, bring it lower. As you can see, and then we can probably play around with another color. So I'm gonna drag these other colors in here. And obviously you can see that that looks pretty, pretty cool. We can also overlay it onto the next to the other. And it sort of has this nice blend effect. I can play around with the opacity. So if I want to drop the opacity, maybe 70%. We'll go 70. And you can see it just makes it more subtle on top here, which is pretty cool. I'm just going to scale these down as well. And obviously you can see if you keep scaling it, it actually changes how the gradient looks. So just be careful of that. You can also do it in the appearance panel. So that's another way of changing it up. So if I want to edit this, I'll open my appearance panel, click on this, click on the Gaussian blur on the right. And you can see it's at 250. And if I drag it, drag it back down, it will go back to normal. So if you did too much, you can always bring it back down. You know, I'll put on 85 and I got the other one here. So I'll just change that one as well. So appearance panel, click Gaussian blur, bring it back down. This one, maybe 75 with this one, as you can see like this. Beautiful. And that's how you create this cool, simple effect. It's great for like a blob blur. If you want to add like a background effect or illustration or, you know, maybe it's for a presentation, something like that. I think these are really cool and you can play around with them and add like nice effects. One little trick as well is you can also play around with the blending mode. So maybe you want to go like overlay that creates a cool effect as well. That's pretty cool. You can also do um, color dodge and I think soft light may be, may be all right as well. So I think I like color dodge, it looks pretty dope. Look at that. And I'll make this super big. Yeah, I think that's an awesome effect. So thanks so much guys for watching, really appreciate it. Hit that smash, I mean, smash that like button and also hit the subscribe button for more design and graphic design tutorials every week. Really appreciate you. Thank you so much for watching. I'll catch you in the next video.